Previously on MasterChef, Felix captured the judge's attention in the first mystery box of the competition. That was one of the best dishes we've ever seen. Ryan stopped at nothing in his battle to survive. My duck worked out much better than her duck, and you guys can't eat raw duck. Samantha, you're leaving the competition. In the end, Frank and David were recognized for their risottos, making them team captains for the next challenge. Frank and David have a huge advantage in the next stage of this competition. And another Master Chef hopeful was sent packing. The person leaving is Dave Man. One Dave down. The other one. Too. One more is a cancer to any team. I've never seen anybody with such an infectious negative energy. Now, the remaining 16 home cooks are about to jump into the trenches. I need more pork on this girl right now. For a challenge on a scale like no other. Here come the troops. And one more contestant's dream of becoming America's next Master Chef. Come on, come on. Will come to a bitter end. The person leaving Master Chef is. I'm sorry to say. The remaining 16 home cooks are about to face their first MasterChef team challenge. What the hell's going on? Like, what's this all about? I'm just absolutely clueless at this point. Cold. I hear the propeller noise. I feel the dust, the wind. I feel like I'm in the middle of a hurricane. It is the most intense feeling on the planet. My heart was beating so fast I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. The helicopters belong to US Marines who are on training maneuvers, and our remaining 16 contestants will be cooking for them in this extraordinary challenge. Choppers land, and out of the choppers come the three judges. The judges look really silly, especially Joe in his suit <laughs> with that hard hat on. Welcome. It's my honor to introduce you to Colonel Steve Weinzer. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you're at one of the largest Marine Corps facilities in the country. On behalf of the United States Marine Corps, good luck today in your challenge. I can read between the lines. At this point, I know we're going to be feeding a lot of a lot of military dudes. Troops, in two hours from now, all of you are going to be ambushed by 201 Marines. Oh, yes. Your mission is to send them back to training with full stomachs. We have to cook for 201 Marines, OK, who have been out in the field for who knows how many days. They're going to be mob hungry. And you won't be in a fancy kitchen. Take a look. We are literally in the trenches. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here are the rules of engagement. Each Marine will eat entree from the red team and an entree from the blue team. They'll indicate their favorites by lining up behind the team they think is the best. The losing team will face their very first MasterChef pressure test. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Frank and David, you two had the best dishes in the last challenge, so both of you are team captains. Time to pick your teams. Come and stand next to me, please. Excellent. Hands down, I want to be on Team Frank because I want to destroy David, and I want him out of this competition. Before you tell me who it is, I need to know why. I'm looking for people that could stand on their station and, and uh, take control. So, Becky. Becky. Becky, take your apron, please, and come line up over there. Being a good leader is being able to pick people that are better than you, so you don't have to work as hard. Becky's super smart, and she tends to take charge in the kitchen. So it's a very, very strategic move. Frank. Well, I think this person's already proved themselves in the kitchen. They don't really fold under pressure. Felix. Woo! Josh. Let's go, baby. Right. Scott. Scott. Wow. Yeah. Next person. It's my. Thank you, brother. Stacy. Stacy. Wow. Wow. I do not want to be on David Martinez's team. 
He has no idea how to talk to people, and I wouldn't want to have to take orders from a guy like that. I really respect the way that this person approaches what they do in the kitchen. I would like to pick Helene. The guy has a lot of knowledge. Um, he's got a lot of skill in the kitchen. Tali. Tali. Yeah. I'm happy to be on Frank's team. Honestly, I think you know he's a better leader than Dave. OK, six left. Three each. I'd like to see Ryan on my team next. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Tanya. Tanya. Anna. Michael. Wow. David, you're picking for both teams, because whoever you don't pick, of course, will be in Frank's team. Um. It's going to be between me and Christine. I really feel like people underestimate my ability in this competition, so I knew I was going to be in the very bottom pick. I think uh, they'll be a really good team member, a really good addition to my team, and I'd like to invite Monty to join the red team. Christine. Yes, Chef. Did you expect to be last pick? You know, I have a disadvantage and there's limitations, so I, I, it wasn't a surprise to me at all. Being last pick, I want to prove that I'm more than capable. The last thing I want to do is get in the way of a victory. Frankie! Hey I'm actually happy to have Christine on my team. I know that Christine has the ability to be prepared for a challenge. Red team, blue team, are you ready? Yes, sir! Your time starts now. In this team challenge, each team must prepare a meal for 201 Marines. The entree must include at least one protein, one starch, and one vegetable, or they automatically will lose the vote to the other team. All right, so here's how we're going to do it. My roots are Italian, and in four minutes, i got to make a decision what I'm going to make. It's probably going to be what I know, and that's Italian food. Who doesn't love a pasta? Salad. I'm thinking of a summer chambolta, which is basically like a bunch of different summer vegetables, pasta. We'll throw some freaking uh, mozzarella in there. It would be beautiful. We'll spice the chicken with our spice girl over here. We'll get it on the grill. I think that we should make barbecue chicken. All American, down to earth. But I went with his decision because I trust him as a team captain. All right, let's do it. Go blue. Go while the blue team under Frank is going Italian, the red team have decided on an American classic. We're serving pork. Becky, I'm going to need you to get on some barbecue sauce. The potatoes, we still need to figure out. I want to give these guys nice and hearty food. It's a cold day out. I like the idea of the red team dish. I like a pork chop with a barbecue sauce, you know, smothered, heavy, good food. I just don't think they've given themselves enough time to cook it. By deciding to cook whole pork chops, they've forced themselves to be cooking into the serving period. Yes. High risk. Yeah. I think a chambota is a nice idea, pasta, yeah. but I don't think Marines know what chambota is, nor know. do they care. It's too foo-foo. Nobody wants that right now. I think that versus barbecue sauce? Yeah, and there you go. No way. 55 minutes gone, just over an hour to go. While the red team struggles to get organized, what? on the blue team's grill, Michael is already experiencing problems. Michael, what do you got going on? I'm grilling the onions and the mushrooms right now. Yeah, I didn't see the mushrooms get seasoned, oiled, anything. They just got thrown on the grill. I don't mean to throw Christine on the bus, but she popped them. These are going to turn black so, as tar. Uh, yeah, well, I'm you, just, so it's Christine's fault. I, I'm cooking the mushrooms without. Yeah, but if you, if like yeah. someone, someone gives you something done wrong, at least as part of the team, you would tell well, somebody, I right? I wasn't aware that the mushrooms would. Uh, that you want to eat that on. crap? Michael Chen's having a hard time grilling. I look over his face, pure fear. You've got these veggies going over to the grill, but they're unseasoned. You've got these dry onions that are just getting burned over here. He's not taking responsibility for it, but if that's the way you want to roll, that's it. Good luck, guys. All right. You don't season them, Mike? There's no seasoning on them at all. Oh my God. With just 45 minutes before 201 hungry Marines invade to eat lunch, Michael is making a mess of the vegetables for the blue team's chicken and pasta dish. Your grill man is a little inexperienced and you're showing somebody... some weakness here. So I would really get someone strong. Like this is somebody that could maybe, you know, be better used to chop something. We're going to switch this up. You're going to start chopping this stuff up. Tally's going to take over on the grill. Okay, Mike, just stand back here. Just under 10 minutes to go. While the blue team keeps their pace, the red team is fighting to overcome a lack of direction from team leader David. We need to get those potatoes on. Is that all the potatoes you've got? No, we got four more pots. No, but any more on the grill? Uh, we can get more on the grill right now, yeah. David, how are we going to get 201 portions of potatoes roasted? We have to dump out half this water. Listen, the only way we're going to get this up to boil is if we have a little bit of water. David, at this point, has lost control of the team. He's not giving clear enough direction, so I start kind of telling people what to do. You guys, I need more pork on this grill, like, right now. 
Seriously, right now, right now. Come on! Just over five minutes to go. Here they come, guys. Blue team, red team, stand by. Here come the troops. The Marines come in from all directions, and we've got the number. We know, 201, but really seeing them there is a whole other story. I mean, it's chaos. With seconds before service begins, Gordon spots a fatal error on the red team. Oh, my God, the port's roll. Port's roll. David! Sir! David! Urgently! I cannot believe this. That is not comport! Get it back on the grill! The soldiers are going to come through in a minute here, and so I need to get as many of these pieces cooked off as possible. I'm freaking out. The red team have mere moments left to try and salvage their undercooked pork, while the blue team appears to have everything under control. We're ready to serve. We're ready? Oh, we're ready? Yep. Red team, blue team, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go, guys. Marines! It's an absolute honor to have the privilege of cook for you today. Come and eat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Frank. I hope we have enough pasta, man. What? I really hope we have enough pasta. I, I, I swear to God, you do not serve raw pork to a Marine. Yes, sir. Double check that yes, they're sir. all cooked. These are Kansas City style grilled pork chops oh. with cheesy potatoes. potatoes. Yes, sir. Frank, you're going to have to tell me if I'm dropping it over their tray. Make sure, OK? I put Christine up front to serve because I want to make sure that she's doing something productive. To the right, to the right. To the right, to the right. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, sir. This is pasta with grilled summer vegetables and a grilled chicken breast. I'm going to help you with chicken, honey. OK. On the right again. There you go. I end up in the serving line serving the chicken breast. I'm stressed because it's awkward. I have to basically reach out and feel for the tray and feel which side is empty, and that's where I leave it. But it is a little difficult, and it's hard to execute that quickly. While blue team's Christine is running low on confidence, the red team is running low on food. I'm going to need more pork. Thank you guys so much for your service. Do we have any more potatoes ready? They are not cooked. These are raw. More potatoes. We're out of potatoes. I'm really upset at this point. We're going to run out of food. This is not good at all. All we have in our plate is coleslaw. Not OK. I'm sorry, guys. How are we doing, guys? Which one do you like better? Yeah, I like the red. Red? How about you? Blue, sir. OK. Blue side, love the chicken, love it, love it, love it. Uh, only thing about the pasta is that I'm not really big on the vegetables. All right, so you're gonna be a critic after you get out of the Marines? You hungry? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, man. I'm giving two scoops of pasta to each one of the Marines. I'm looking at the line, I'm seeing there's a lot of people, but I got a lot of pasta. So I wanna make sure these guys are, you know, they're full. But little by little, this pot of pasta starts dwindling down. More pasta! At this point, I'm getting real worried. Who likes the red team's pork on this table? I like the pork chop. You like the pork chop. Why, it's a little more hearty? What's wrong? Let me see that. That's raw. Uh-oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this back, and I'm going to get you another tray with a cooked pork chop, because this is unacceptable, OK? All right. Joe, no, David. no, 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 no. You got a raw. This is raw. You're going to kill somebody. Oh, no, 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 no. This is completely no, no, raw. No, no. no. We got to fix this. I got to get another one back. Stop. hungry. Hey, guys, red team, come here. Red team, come here, stop. That's what we're serving to the bloody Marines. I was so invested in serving these Marines two inch thick pork chops, and it's completely my fault that we're going down in flames right now. Get a grip and wake up. Both teams have been cooking frantically for over two hours, but with half the Marines left to serve and no meat ready, the red team needs to devise a way of fast-tracking their pork chops. Is this one cooked? If no, I go back there with another... No, 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 We need more chops, you guys! We're down to two chops! Mike, pound the chop out. Do something. The line is stopped. Cowboy Mike's back there with, like, two skillets banging the crap out of these pork chops to get them thinner so we can cook them on the grill. I just need to get these stupid things cooked all the way through so they're edible so they can serve them to the Marines. Let's start cooking them on this side, too, OK? Please. This is saving us. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. I apologize. 
Can you just get to cooking I'm some so stuff? I'm so sorry. We can apologize. It's getting embarrassing. I mean, I've told David, man up, get organized. Yeah. Helene, please. How are you on pork? Do you need more pork? But look at Becky. Becky's now coordinating. Yeah. She's Becky's now over. running the red team. Right. So the girls have taken over the red Absolutely. team. Absolutely. So this is the story of unlikely heroes. You have Monty. More potatoes, please. You have Becky up front who stepped up to the plate. She's got a system going. Yeah. She's like Who would have thought? taking over and protecting her station. Wow. More pasta. I'm just trying to keep him fed, man. I'm trying. We should have had all four burners going at the whole entire time and had it done. I'm not sure why it came together at the last second, but we're doing the best we can. If we can't get pasta out to these troops, then there's no starch. We're not completing the mission. That's not good. I see the line. Maybe there's 20, 25 people left. We redress the pasta, we get it ready to go, and I'm just hoping that I make it. You guys are doing awesome, man. Thank you guys for saving me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everyone voting red at this table, hands up. Don't be shy. Come on, I see a half hand here. All right, and blue? Wow, even Steven, 4-4. Four, four. We'll see how it ends. Thanks, guys. As both teams get back on track, the last of the 201 Marines get served. Hi, guys. Thank you guys so much for your service. You're amazing. Who's your money on? Oh, I think that uh, red team's going to win it. I think at the end of the day, it's based on the dish. I think the blue team has better flavors. I think it's a risk, their dish, but I'm going to count on these Marines, yeah. have a sophisticated palate. I'm going blue. Right now, for me, I'm undecided to go either way. I need pork chops, too, now! There's like two Marines left in line. I feel kind of ashamed that we didn't do a better job, but we finished strong. Hi, how are you today? Spicy grilled chicken for you. We're done, guys. Good job, brother. Oh, thank you so much, Frank. We are all super excited. We're super proud of each other. I'm proud of my team. I've never worked with people that work so coherently before. At this point, I think it can go either way. I'm hoping that the meal was substantial enough, but they left the decision up to the Marines, so I don't really know what's going to happen. As the hungry Marines finish their plates, the question remains, will Becky's barbecue sauce be enough to make up for the red team's sometimes raw pork chops, or will the Marines favor the blue team's less hearty but fully cooked chicken and pasta? Marines, it's been an absolute honor to have the privilege to cook for you today. I'd like to invite you all to stand up in one big line, please. Straight down. Thank you. If ever there was a time to flash a nip, ladies. I'm not doing Dude, that. Dude, shut up. Ryan is telling me to show them your nipples. That'll get us more votes. Really Have some respect, man. I'm just kidding. If you prefer the red team's menu, two giant steps this direction. If you prefer the blue team, two steps this direction. Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go, my team! Go! On the count of three. One. We don't know the count at this point, but I'm thinking we have this in the bag. As long as these troops like our food, we have this in the bag. Stay where you are. We're going to have to take a count. Frank's a strong chef. He's a strong competitor. He's a good leader. It's going to come down to the wire. There's a lot of people in that line. I'm super nervous about what's going to happen. At this point, I don't know, it's a toss up. I hear that the red team had a really beautiful looking plate and you know, the fact that they have pork chops and party fare like that with potatoes, I'm like, mm, that's an all American meal. Okay, Marines, the winning entree belongs to the red team. So the red team wins by just 16 votes. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you get the job done as long as the job gets done. Had a lot of chaos in the kitchen, but it's a good feeling. Everybody loves a winner. Blue team, you will face a very daunting pressure test where minimum one of you will be leaving the MasterChef competition. Frank's dish was a terrible idea. I mean, he was playing to his strengths, and that's Italian food, and that's not what the soldiers apparently like to eat. A lot of people on my team at this point feel upset. I personally felt responsible because we picked the wrong food. You're feeding American troops. Barbecue pork chops, potato, and coleslaw, it's hard to beat that. 
I'm feeling disappointed um, in myself and to think that I have to go into a pressure test after what I already feel was a pressure test. I'm just really, really stressed out and I'm feeling overwhelmed. After losing the first team challenge, the home cooks from the blue team await a pressure test where at least one contestant will be sent home. I think our team was better, yeah, yeah. hands down. I just think that they picked the protein that resonated. That's it. I don't think we deserve to be in this pressure test, but at the end of the day, it did come down to what those troops decided, so we had to take those licks. They made barbecue sauce from scratch for their pork. That's totally like... American. Total. We did a great job, but don't expect any sympathy from anybody or any kind of praise when we go in there. We lost. We made great food. It just wasn't the right kind of food for the clientele. And it sucks to know someone's got to go home. And there's only one master chef, and we're going to all be fighting for our lives. We're not this anymore, unfortunately. Now we're back to our little individual well, selves like fighting for our spot. A pressure test is the death sentence. It is living hell. It is what Satan himself would fear. Yesterday, you competed in your very first team challenge. While the red team, safe up in the gallery. Blue team, you'll now have to face your very first pressure test. At least one of you will be leaving MasterChef tonight. Usually, the entire team will be competing in this pressure test. But today, one of you will get to sit it out. And the person who gets a pass will be decided by your team captain, Frank. Who do you think should be saved from today's pressure test? This is a ridiculous decision. You can choose yourself. Why would I choose myself, chef? I got us here, I'm the one that needs to be cooking. Think about it. Well, Chef, and there's one person that had recommended macaroni and cheese and barbecue chicken, and I think that if we would have went that way, definitely we'd be standing up there and not down here. So I'm going to have to say Felix. No, I want to cook. Are you 100% positive that you want to stay and compete? Absolutely. Wow. Frank, who's next? Oh, I'm gonna have to say Scott then. I'm cooking. Guys, you're acting like martyrs. I can't believe Scott and Felix threw away an opportunity, a golden ticket to be saved. They are idiots. Frank, pick again. Um, Stacy's somebody that uh, deserves another shot in this kitchen. I'm gonna feel like such a I go up there. Stacy, are you joining? The balcony, or are you staying? I'm so sorry. I'll take the pass, Chef. Say goodbye to your team. <laughs> All right, your pressure test today is about the most American of desserts. Delicious, humble, Apple pie. A stunning crust of pastry on top. An immaculate, firm, crisp base underneath. Delicious apples in the center. Baking is not my forte at all. Visually, I'm at a disadvantage, but I know I need to still put that pie together and make it look aesthetically pleasing. So I'm thinking this is my night, I'm going home. At your stations, you will find all the basics for great apple pie. Guys, there's also additional ingredients. Should you choose to use them to differentiate your pie from everyone else's? You have an hour and 15 minutes to cook one amazing apple pie. Your time starts now. In this pressure test, each home cook will be judged on the filling, the crust, and the overall baking technique of their apple pie. I've made about eight apple pies in the last three months, so I'm feeling confident. I'm gonna knock this one out of the park. There's 
not really a tradition of apple pie in Chinese culture. I might be at a bit of a disadvantage, but at the same time, I know the chemistry behind it, and um, I feel like it's going to be a great pie. Don't underestimate the simplicity of apple pie. For me, the most important is the perfect pastry. Everything is about keeping that butter cold so that it remains flaky and doesn't melt. Exactly. The pastry has got to be made, put together, and then in the fridge to set. Right, and while it's in the fridge cooling, you're cooking your apples. I have to understand your apples. How much sugar, how much acidity, it's all about chemistry. There's a lot of, lot of technique we're asking for here. Right, Frank, tough starts to a pressure test. It's very Not tough. easy. Never made an uh, apple pie before. The filling with the apples, what are you going to flavor them with? I got a little nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon. I just want to keep it simple in the filling. Do you wish now you'd taken that pass and gone upstairs? No, I couldn't just pick myself. I want to win this competition with some integrity. Good luck. Oh, Cindy, did I cut myself? Am I bleeding? Medic. Michael, how are we doing? Are you incorporating cheese into your crust? I'm sprinkling it on top to kind of help hold the top crust together and give it a little bit of saltiness. I know that apples and cheddar is a pretty classic combination. Hi, Christine. Keep working. Hi, Joe. In a baking dish, are you at a disadvantage when food goes in the oven? Yes, definitely. I'm going to have to rely on Cindy to tell me the color of the crust and then just try to time it. So I'm definitely nervous about that. Who's going home? Uh, I honestly think it's, it's probably going to be me. Based on what we've seen so early on in this pressure test, Michael is a weak candidate. Right here, right? Yeah. I don't know about this team. Ready? With food in the oven, she's at a major disadvantage. Yeah. But the thing is, she does know how to cook and she knows how to season. So if those apples are delicious, then that's half the battle. OK, guys, we are just under 40 minutes to go. Oh, god. Everyone's pie should probably be hitting the oven around now. Scotty, hey, how are we doing? I'm actually a little nervous, Graham, to yeah? the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm really worried about my dough, and I don't know how to recover it. But I am clumping like crazy. Right now, all I can do is try to recover my okay. ass off and try to keep Absolutely. going forward. It's not chilled. The butter's warm. I keep trying to salvage it, and I realize it's done. It's gone. The only thing I can do is scrap this over, try to make another little batch, try again. Michael Chan has just put a coating of cheese on his apple pie. He's literally putting it on top so it cheese. looks like a taco. He may as well have baked his apron into the pie. Unbelievable. Just over 30 minutes to go. Everybody's pie should be in the oven. We're going to be eating some raw pie, my friends. Yeah. Oh, it broke. There's no way. I just don't have any more flour. Felix, do you have extra flour? Here you go. Thank you. This is a disaster. Please, get your apple pies in the oven. In this pressure test, seven of the home cooks from the losing team are baking apple pies to keep themselves in the competition. We're going to be eating some raw pie. Yes. Cindy, you know what time point my pie went in? I just need to get that crust golden. The hard thing about baking with my vision loss is I can't really taste it midway through like I can with cooking other things. What is the color of the crust? Right now, it's like a game of luck, and that's really scary. Get that in the oven. Get it in there, Scotty. Get it in there. Next time, when you get a pass, if you're here long enough, do me a favor. Yes, chef. Take it. Yes, chef. Last three minutes. Make this count. And I'm making sure the bottom doesn't burn. Come on, hi. Please start cooking faster. This could be the most important 60 seconds of your master chef existence. My crust would not form. So what I ended up doing is just breaking the thinnest pieces I could off and sort of making a shaved crust effect. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. It's a great job, guys. Right, time to taste. Frank, first up, let's go. All three judges will taste each home cook's apple pie, and once the tasting is completed, at least one person will be sent home. I put some walnuts, I put some pecans in the flour for the crust. I thought a small ratio would add a little texture and flavor. I want to hear that crisp <laughs> freshness of that pastry. I want to hear it too, Chef. Good. Is there? It's a little bit there. Come on, let's see it. 
That looks beautiful. The pastry's literally crumbling in my fingers. You've never cooked an apple pie before? No. I swear to God, I never cooked one. Oh, I hope it tastes good, man. Frank. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah! All right. You redeemed yourself. Well Thank done. Thank you so much. Great job. It's really delicious. The crust is extremely flaky. Awesome. And the apples are melting your mouth. Oh, man. Good job. Thank you. It's, um, it's got a lot of finesse. Cool. You might have baked your way into the next phase of this competition, my friend. Good job. Thank you. Great job. Well done. Thanks, guys. Tanya. Everything is riding on this one apple pie. It could cost me this competition and send me home. Tell me about your pie. I wanted to do a play on a caramel apple. I threw in some pecans and walnuts, tossed the apples in that, and baked it. The apples seem a little bit firm, which would say what? That they're undercooked. That they're undercooked. It's a pasty white crust with undercooked, over-seasoned apples, an abundance of nuts that really don't have a place in there, as far as I'm concerned. Just really not very good. Sorry. What's the seasoning on the apples? Um, cinnamon, cayenne, nutmeg. It's just a soggy mess. I'm sorry to tell you this, but this is your worst dish you've ever cooked in this competition so far. It's like my worst nightmare is coming true. And I don't want to be done here. No part of me wants to be done here. All right, tally, let's go. I put in brown sugar, a little simple syrup, some calvados, cinnamon, nutmeg, and some cardamom. So the crust looks actually cooked. It's kind of thick. It's like there's no one home on the inside. That was my bad. I should have put more apples in it. All right, please come forward, Felix. How are you? I'm good. I did a caramel and I did a candy ginger as well. I am pleased with how it looks, but I'm not sure how the inside's gonna be. Visually, it looks like you ran and grabbed it out of a professional kitchen and brought it back, but the proof is in the pie. It's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. The outside is so beautiful, but the inside, unfortunately, doesn't take it over the top. Thank you. Okay, Michael. I'm feeling pretty good walking my pie up. While it may not be the best out of the best pies, it's definitely gonna keep me safe from elimination today. What in God's good earth inspired you to cover your apple pie with cheese? I think that it sets me apart a little bit, and I think it also helps give the top of the pie a different texture. Definitely got a little crunch to it. Of course, that's from the cheese. It's watery. The cheese flavor is completely dry and crusty. There's no bottom crust. Could be back at school soon. I want to get rid of that horrible murky bath water first. What is all that? It's the butter and the brown sugar and the apple juice and sugar. It's like someone's the bed. It's raw. It's a mess. It's not an apple pie. Scott, let's go. This is the longest, hardest, and most embarrassing walk. If my head was any lower, it'd be scraping the ground. I don't even know where to start. What in the f is that? A disaster. A crust gone wrong twice, and an attempt at a recovery. Tell me that I've got something in there that actually tastes like the inside of an apple pie. I believe you do. The apples are delicious, but you've got the balance of the tartness right. 
and there's no liquid at the bottom. But you've screwed the pastry. Yes, chef. The filling's great. It would have been nicer with the bottom. Agreed. Christine. Yes, chef. Let's go, please. I'm really worried. I'm not even sure if the bottom crust cooked all the way. I had no idea what the pie was like on the inside. That's really scary. I feel like I need a miracle, but honestly, I, I think I'm going to be going home. The judges have tasted six of the seven apple pies made for this pressure test. Christine has the last pie to be tasted before the judges decide who will be sent home. How are you, Christine? I'm all right, Chef. OK, first of all, I've never seen you that flustered. And then, with barely 18 minutes to go, you still were not in the oven with your apple pie. What the hell is going on? Honestly, Chef, there's just no excuse. I just was flustered. And I just, I'm not experienced with making pie at all, so there's just really no excuse. What do you think this pie looks like? I think it probably looks like a pile of rubbish. Visually, it looks stunning. It's got a nice, crisp, dark brown color on the edge. Thank you, chef. The sugar has almost glazed the pastry. And it looks as delicious as Frank's. So stop doubting yourself. Be bold. Yes, chef. Okay. The pie underneath. The pastry looks cooked. Can you hear that on top? Yes, chef. What does that sound like to you? It sounds good and crusty. Good and crusty. So, stop feeling upset with yourself. Okay? You've got to start believing yourself more. Okay? Come on. Come on. Right. Hear that? Yes, chef. There's not a soggy patch on there. That's all the way round, OK? Can you hear that? On the balcony, you can hear that, right? Yes, 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 sir. And it's intact right in front of your very eyes. I have a wedge. Oh, thank God. Of a beautiful apple pie. And the flavour? The flavor's amazing. Okay? It's delicious. So well done. Okay? Congratulations. Really good job. All of you, please come down to the front. That was a very tough pressure test. 75 minutes to make one of the most famous desserts anywhere in the world. A humble apple pie. Frank, Christine, Felix and Tali, step forward, please. Thank you. You all made pies that were good enough to keep in the competition. Congratulations. Join the balcony, please. Thank you, Chef. Michael. Yes, Chef. Went overboard with the cheese. Yes, Chef. I Misinterpreted the classic apple pie. Tanya, big disaster. Your apple pie was like the shock factor for all of us. Scott, I didn't think an apple pie would beat you. I didn't honestly think something as simple and as delicious as that would get the better of you. Tanya, step forward, please. I, 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 I don't want to go home. <sighs> Tanya. <sighs> you made it to the last 15 upstairs. <laughs> Congratulations. Get <laughs> a so grip, Tanya. Get a grip. <laughs> Michael, Scott, only one of you is staying in this competition tonight. 
I made quite a few small mistakes, but I really feel like Scott made a much worse dish than I did. This is insane. I can't believe that I chose to stay and actually do the pressure test. And now it might be going home. The person leaving MasterChef. We're sorry to say. Michael. Come up here, young man. 19 years of age, you have a great future in food. Well done. Come on. You should be really proud. Well done, buddy. Please take your apron off, place it over your station, and keep that head up high. I came here because I wanted to prove that I have what it takes to be a great chef. You know, I just didn't expect to be going home so early. I'm proud of the things that I was able to do all the way up until this challenge. Congratulations. I'm one of the most confident yeses ever in this competition. Really? Well done. It's been a great ride and a great experience, and I'm very thankful for that, and I wouldn't trade that for anything. Scott, you've been down here twice now, yeah? yeah? Trust me, the third time here will not be lucky for you. Back upstairs. Yes, chef. I have another chance, and I just know I have absolutely zero margin for error going forward. Tomorrow night on MasterChef. Ooh. Oh my God. The home cooks face the most shocking mystery box yet, uh. with a surprise that has everyone reeling. Oh. I'm gonna go home with the check, the cookbook, and the title. And emotions explode when one contestant gets pushed too far. Ryan has a problem with me. You know what? F him, dude. Haters are my motivators. Will our home cooks be able to handle the heat? Have you any idea what's coming next? And another Master Chef dream oh. will come to a bitter end. One potato, two potato.